Hi friends, it's Miss Morgan, and today's story is the story of the three Billy Goats Gruff as told by the troll. And the title is, Listen, My Bridge is So Cool. Hello, my name is Artie, and I'm the troll in that famous story about the goats. You know, the one with all the trip trapping across the bridge? Are you surprised to see me? Did you think I was done for when the biggest goat kicked me off the bridge? Here, have some homemade bread and jam. It's wild strawberry. Step back and I'll tell you the real story. I've never been like other trolls. In troll school, I got good grades, which meant I was the worst in my class. Trolls aren't supposed to be smart. Instead of practicing roars and chest thumping, I made art and baked pies. I wasn't big and clumsy. I didn't even smell bad. Are you sure you're a troll? The other students teased. Maybe you're an elf. When we finished school, the troll placement board gave us jobs. I was to guard a little bridge in the middle of nowhere. The other trolls laughed, but to me, the job was perfect. I love my bridge. In my cozy home, I wrote poetry, danced, and cooked. I even played my flute. Once in a while, I saw the three goats in the distance, but as soon as they saw me looking at them, the biggest goat ran away. The other two followed him. One day, a crow dropped a letter on my head. Leave my home beneath the... It said, Dear Artie, you're giving trolls a good name, which is very bad. Get mean or we will remove you from your post. The troll patrol. Leave my home beneath the bridge, I thought. Never! I would have done anything to stay, even if that meant acting like all the other trolls did. Every day I practiced my growls, stomps, jumps, and thumps. Nervously, I waited for someone to come across my bridge. Finally, my chance came. It was a beautiful summer day. I was just about to make a batch of my world-famous fish stew when I heard a clicking overhead. Trip trap, trip trap. This was it. I hopped to top the bridge and said, who's tripping across my bridge? A little girl looked at me curiously. You're the troll, he said. Uh, okay. Oh, yes, I hollered. And I'm going to gobble you up. Oh, you don't want to eat me, the little goat said. Wait for my brother. He is much bigger. He'll come along soon. Fine, I said. And the goat trotted off with a grin. Back beneath the bridge, I calmed myself with a few sips of pine needle tea. Pretty soon, I heard trip, trap, trip, trap. I scrambled onto the bridge and tried again. Who's tripping across my bridge? I yelled. This goat was bigger than the first. He didn't seem scared either. Oh, hey, he said. We just want to graze in that awesome patch of grass over there. Are you cool with that? Sure, that's, I started to say, then I caught myself. I mean, I'm going to gobble you up. Um, maybe you could wait for my big brother, the goat said. The guy is huge. Fine. I waved the goat off. Before I could refresh my tea, trip, trap, trip, trap. For the third time, I pulled myself onto the bridge. Who's that tramping across my bridge? I said to the biggest goat I'd ever seen, I thump my chest, I'm going to gobble you up. Like right now. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Gobble you up, just watch me. The big goat stood in front of me trembling. Wait a minute, I said, are you really scared? He nodded. Me too, I confessed in a rush. I don't wanna hurt anyone really. But the troll patrol says I have to either act like a troll or move. And I really love my bridge.
The goat continued to stare at me. I might be big, he whispered, but I'm not brave. Do your brothers tease you, I asked. Sometimes, he admitted. They didn't think you would actually come to the bridge, did they? I said. He shook his head. But you did, I told him. You were scared and you came here anyway, so you really are brave. I am, he asked. Yes, I said. Oh, this couldn't have worked out better. Let's give them all a good show, I said. We'll just pretend to fight. Your brothers will change their mind about you and the trouble tro will change its mind about me. And that's just what we did. Grr, buff, pow, and into the river he went. These days, my life under the bridge is better than ever. Every so often, Big Bad Billy and I put on a huge pretend fight. It's making him feel better about himself. My troll skills must be improving too. I haven't gotten any more letters from the Troll Patrol. Now how about some more bread and jam? The end. I hope you guys enjoyed this different version of the Billy Goat's Gruff and I will read to you all later. Bye.